about you turn me on, Philip? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Just, just like uh, the usual, you mean. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the video today. My name is Welly, and this is very much a video that is going to showcase some of the plays we had for my live stream last night. I'm also a provider of content for those who are interested in esports and perhaps learning a little bit more. As I'm a student of esports myself, it's my job to kind of involve you guys in my projects and that includes my live stream which you can catch tonight i should be doing some competitive gaming for cross out but also stick around for other games like league of legends we also have smite we also do valorant and if you want to learn more about these kind of competitive titles then just get in touch message me ask me anything and i will get right back to you in the meantime do enjoy the video i'll be providing voice over here and commentary for all my actions and let's learn together let me take a shit in the bush. So to start it off with the first video of this series here, it is me, Lux, and Kesa on bottom lane. Pairing up rather well. Actually, I get picked a little bit here by Pike, and he drags me a little bit closer, but we will retaliate together and focus that champion back. He will regenerate his HP over there in the shadows. We do plunge in for the kill there, and Lux is doing her job well. That was just a little minor engagement to get things started. But it is not over yet. In this next clip coming up, I want you to take special note of my positioning as Lux here on the corner. And right here, you can abuse your opponents with your ability to throw through the corner and sort of leverage yourself up towards that tower and force the retreat. You could argue you are somewhat exposed from river, but it was not a factor at that point. So coming up in this clip, you can see how danger comes from absolutely nowhere. I'm feeling confident at this point. Only level 4 with my Lux though. I do get the snare onto Jinx, so I move in, get my barrier onto the teammate. Pike is having none of it, throws me over the shoulder. and My teammate is powerless to very much do anything at all as I do go down. In this clip here, you will see effective pressure onto the adversary here from my character Lux. I get the snare onto Jinx and she is forced to back away. Doesn't want to take the damage for my orb and is forced to flash away. And that's a, a long cooldown for an ability in this game that can make a big difference. So on this clip, we're building on our previous successes here. Myself and Keita are feeling confident. and We run up along the bush line towards the enemy tower here. Pike getting involved with it is not going to be enough for us. and gets taken down easily. And now a simple follow-up with my ultimate into Lux and Keita for the finish there. Enables us to disrupt the enemy team's momentum, damage the tower and earn some gold for ourselves. And here, I want to emphasize the importance of communication. Communication, communication. We're at the early stages of forming somewhat of a death ball and having some real power for our team in this match. And I'm simply asking the questions. I'm asking, are we hitting this tower on mid? Making sure we can form up as a team, not without forgetting the enemy's right. positioning. The call outs you make are an audio cue to your teammates as to the enemy presence, as well as your own positioning, and will enable you for effective team play. Nice on carry. Yes, nice. son. Yep, that is all you. Dragon. Okay, you need help. No, no, no. Yeah, hello. One there. Nice. Nice. Oh! Towards the later stages of the game now, we are 24 minutes in with 26 to 11 on the score here. We do get a cheeky double kill against the opposition. The rest of the enemy team are waiting to respawn, just leaving Trundle there who does eventually go down as well. And the tower is on its own, ready to be destroyed by us all. We have kept the pressure on our opposition from the get-go. A very good start from us, good communication, and as well as that punishing the enemy team for their mistakes leads us to the victory here for this game. 